everyone! Welcome to the channel dedicated to sharing the profound insights and wisdom of Andromedan contactee Alex Collier. If you're new here, you're in for a journey that expands your mind and consciousness, bringing you closer to understanding the messages from the fifth density Andromedan extraterrestrials. For those returning, we're grateful for your continued support. Before we dive into today's enlightening content, we have a small favor to ask. If you find value in the knowledge shared in this video, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the bell icon so you never miss an update. Your engagement helps us amplify Alex Collier's message, allowing us to reach a larger audience with these vital messages. We'd also love to hear from you, so please engage with the comments below. Whether it's a question, your thoughts, or even just an emoji for the sake of engagement, every comment counts. We read every single comment, and your feedback is incredibly valuable to us. Additionally, if you'd like to support us further, consider giving a super thanks tip by clicking the heart with the dollar sign. This small gesture allows us to continue bringing you more of Alex's messages, unfiltered and directly from his lifelong experiences with the Andromedans. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. I have about 20,000 credit card debt. I have quite a bit of crypto, gold and silver and some cash. What do you do, suggest I do with this debt at this time? Would you sell crypto or take your cash and pay this off? What will survive in crypto? Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP? I don't know. I am not a crypto. I don't own any crypto. So I have no idea. Um, I, I simply don't know. I'm not the guy to ask on that because I'm not a financial expert. Um, you know, I have debt as well. Not a lot, but, uh, you know, I do have some debt that I'm struggling to deal with uh, and stay ahead of, you know, in the hopes that, that you know, this thing turns around very quickly. Um, I do have um, some currency, foreign currency, that I hope to exchange at some point in the near future, which would pay off all my debts and put me into a position where um, I can put some money away from my kids and trusts, and then I can begin the process and work of helping veterans heal. Uh, my first priority would be to begin the process of getting homeless vets a place to stay and uh, helping existing infrastructure that exists to expand and maybe and adding more to get them off the street. Uh, the other would be to make sure that food banks are always full, at least here locally in Colorado, to make sure that the food banks are always full so no one, no one has to starve. So I'm, I intend to work locally uh, as much as I can. Um, because it's where I live, you know. Uh, the government here in, in Colorado has the potential to do great things. It's, uh, their ideology is just fucked up. <laughs> it's just like, how do you justify any of this? You know, it's just, you know, it's on the dark side of the moon. Thank you for being here. Can you talk about the validity of NASA? <laughs> the pictures taken by the telescopes and if they are real also, are there truly space stations in flight orbiting Earth? I don't know what to believe anymore. I get it. I get it. Regarding um, never a straight answer, NASA, um, I, have, I have come to the conclusion that for the most part, it's just propaganda. Do we have ships in orbit? Yes, we do. Um, you're just going to have to trust your own intuition. 
I would suggest if you can, or if you have access to it, to one, is that you get yourself um, night goggles, night glasses, night binoculars, okay? And if you know somebody who has access to a really good pair of night vision binoculars or um, goggles, if you know somebody in the military, someone who does a lot of hunting, or if you have the wherewithal to buy yourself a, a decent pair, um, I mean, you can get, you know, for about $500, something that has a, a, uh, a vision depth of about 200 miles. And hun, just watch the night sky. That's all you have to do is just watch the night sky. You will know. You will know beyond a doubt that they're there because you're going to see them with your night vision goggles. It's a no-brainer. They're moving, they're moving in flight patterns. They're changing direction. There are maneuvers. You'll see large starships moving through, parked here and there, come in and then fade out. It's a slam dunk. It's a slam dunk. <laughs> you know, I can already hear you saying, oh, my God. Have fun with that. JP, via a Michael Sala interview, threw into question, who is in control of the ARKS, A-R-K-S? Any idea? Asks Mike Simcoe. You know, Michael asked me if I had any input on the orbs that were coming out of the ARKS. And my input was this, the, the orbs, which are coming from the arc, it's arcs itself, are more than likely looking for crew. They're looking for the crew. They may also be looking for the passengers. Now remember these boats, ships, okay, in order to get on these things and to get in and out of these things, your DNA, your frequency has to be embedded in the ship, okay, in its memory. And that's probably what they're doing is they're, they're, they're moving around the planet looking for crew, okay, or passengers, which would be crew. Okay, if you're on board of a ship, you know, and you do anything, you're part of the crew, okay? And you act accordingly. That's what I think they're doing. So it's the crew. It's the crew that these things are looking for. That's who's in charge. That's who's in charge. And that's all I can say at the moment on that. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you found it insightful, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on future updates. If you have any questions relating to today's video, please also leave them below. We read all the comments and take on board what our viewers have to say about Alex Collier's work. Remember, your support helps Alex Collier's knowledge and the messages from the Andromedans reach more people. If you'd like to support the channel even more, you can give us a super thanks tip by clicking the heart icon with a dollar sign. It really helps our team bring you more content. Also, be sure to visit alexcollier.org to sign up for our regular email newsletter. It's the best way to stay updated with the latest news, exclusive content, and upcoming live webinars. For the latest insights from Alex Collier, check out alexcollier.live. And if you want to explore over 250 past webinars, head over to alexcollier.tv.
Thank you for being a part of this journey and supporting Alex Collier's work. We couldn't do this without you, and we're genuinely grateful for your support. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the vast mysteries of our universe. If you would like to see the Andromedan contactee Alex Collier live via video stream, we hold a live online seminar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information on upcoming live webinars, please visit alexcollier.org.